Good afternoon from the Plaza Premium Lounge at Hong Kong International Airport near Gate 35. Just hanging out in my private room, which I went ahead and booked earlier this afternoon. Sent me back about 110 US dollars or 860 Hong Kong dollars. Got a three hour package. Um, you've got access to a private bed sort of thing, futon. Uh, you get a shower and toilet. We'll have a closer look after I'm done here and we'll have a look inside the lounge too and what's available. Uh, you also get access to the buffet of course and food. Uh, my flight's at 19.50 this evening. Flight number NZ80 Air New Zealand on board their Boeing 787 Dreamliner. In economy class, looking forward to it. I've already flown Air New Zealand to Australia three times. Once on board their A321 Neo in economy. Got a review of that on my channel. Also flew on board their 777-300 from Auckland to Brisbane in business class and Brisbane to Auckland in premium economy. That was just a trans-Tasman service, so it's not the full experience that you get on long-haul flights. But nevertheless, it was still great. If you want to check those videos out, they are on my channel. I've done reviews of those in the past. Anyhow, let's go have a look at the lounge. And uh, yeah, welcome back to another trip report. Let's take a closer look at the private room. Got some uh, nice views of the tarmac. Got a Cathay Pacific, uh, is that an A321neo out there on the gate? Got the futon kind of bed. Uh, we have the shower, potions and lotions, toilet, hand wash, hand cream, etc. They supply you with uh, toothbrushes and other amenities everything you need to freshen up before your next flight and also some coat hooks here let's go grab a bite to eat and check out what's for offer in the buffet welcome to the plaza premium lounge in hong kong airport near gate 35. you can access this lounge for a period of two hours with a priority pass or you can just pay cash at the door got a good variety of seating options anything from armchairs to tables with chairs you've got like workstations as well over this side of the lounge we'll have a close look at the food options uh, later on down the end of the corridor you've got the shower rooms and the private rooms got a nice selection of hot dishes vegetarian and non-vegetarian have a self-serve drink station, soft drinks, beer, coffee and tea, some juice and infused water, good selection of spirits, you can mix your own drinks. And we have a fridge full of cold dishes, salads, and white wine. Well, that was a lovely experience in the Plaza Premium Lounge. Uh, feeling a bit more refreshed now, ready for my flight this evening back to Auckland. We'll see you at the gate. Our aircraft taking us to Hong Kong this evening. Zulu Kilo, November Zulu Charlie, 11 year old Boeing 787 9. This is the oldest 787 in the Air New Zealand fleet. It's got a total of 18 business class seats, 21 premium economy. 263 economy. It's powered by two Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engines. Thank you. Thanks again for uh, changing my seat. Eh? Cheers, thank you. Sorry in advance, I didn't get the best boarding footage. Up the front of the cabin is business class in a 121 configuration, behind that premium economy in a 232 configuration. Somehow I found myself in premium economy. This is the cabin in a 232 layout as I explained earlier. 
How did I get into premium economy? Well, let me explain right now. Enjoy this premium economy trip report. So I paid for a preferred seat through Air New Zealand, which costed 60 New Zealand dollars. I did it through the customer service center over the phone. Selected seat 51C. When I got to the gate, I found out that seat had been assigned to another passenger. So they moved me to 37C, which turned out to be a sky couch row. Um, that was all good and everything until the check-in agent, sorry, the gate agent came in and told me that someone had booked the sky couch. So um, to save any complications, basically the check-in supervisor came inside. Uh, Gary, I believe his name was, if you're watching, shout out to you. Thank you so much. Came in and tapped me on the shoulder, told me to grab my bags and move me up to premium economy, which was a lovely surprise. I was very shocked. Yeah, so that's the story. Um, enjoy the taxi and takeoff footage. Let's take a look at these seat features, seat 24 Juliet, premium economy on Air New Zealand. Nice responsive IFE screen with a nice selection of movies, TV, shows and music. Wi-Fi is free on board Air New Zealand, however on this flight it was a little bit uh, patchy. A headphone jack and USB socket. In the seat pocket in front we have the safety card, behind that an air sickness bag and a pair of noise cancelling headphones. Every passenger in premium receives an amenities kit. Inside the amenities kit you'll find a pair of socks, toothbrush and toothpaste, hand cream, earplugs and a pen. Left side armrest we have the foot rest and seat recline button. For the other side we have the IFE remote. This can be used also to control the IFE screen which can be easier especially if you're reclined. On the armrest here we also have a tray table which I'll demonstrate shortly. Two universal power sockets. Here's the tray table folded in half. It slides back and forward and folds out fully which is nice and sturdy. Overhead we don't have any air vents but we do have personal reading lights, however the cabin temperature was kept nice and comfortable throughout the flight. We have an adjustable headrest with nice and supportive wings. These premium seats have a really generous amount of recline which I'll demonstrate now. Here is the seat fully reclined with the wings deployed. I managed to get about 3-4 to four hours of solid sleep. About 30 minutes after departure, the cabin crew commenced drink service before dinner. Is it 
Sprite, please. Sprite, thank you. Let's have a look at the menu for this evening's flight. Feel free to pause along the way and let me know in the comments what you would have chosen. For dinner this evening I've gone for the Five Spice Chicken. This is served with mushroom fried rice. The appetizer we've got like a crab meat salad with sweet corn and shiitake mushrooms, cheese and crackers, sourdough bread roll with oil and a hazelnut cake. I had this with a glass of Chardonnay. After about four hours of solid sleep, I woke up to find us crossing the coast of southeast Queensland with about three hours remaining until we'd reach Auckland. Breakfast this morning, I've gone for the waffles with caramelized banana and vanilla syrup. This is served with blueberry yogurt and fresh fruit. Unfortunately, the cabin crew have missed us on the drink service, but they soon made up for that. We're now 17 minutes from landing in Auckland. Enjoy the approach and landing footage and we'll see you on the ground. Welcome to Auckland. We've arrived at the gate eight minutes ahead of schedule this morning. Got a sensational flight on board Air New Zealand this evening. Uh, unexpected move to premium economy, which was nice. Uh, great cabin crew, great food, very comfortable uh, seating. Definitely recommend premium economy for flying long haul. If you did enjoy the video, uh, Please do like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. And thank you for watching.